Hi, I'm Tara Mazura, the social media intern for Merle, and today I'm going to tell you the history of Barnegat Bay. Barnegat Bay sits on the coast of Ocean County, New Jersey, and is connected to the Atlantic Ocean through the Barnegat Inlet. The bay is home to a number of islands, namely the Sedge Islands, and is separated from the ocean by Long Beach Island. The earliest settlers to the Barnegat area were the original people, or Lenni Lenape, who would leave their winter homes inland and venture to the shore, where they would spend the summer gathering clams, roasting and drying them for use during the upcoming winter. They would also make wampum, their form of money, from leftover shells of clams, mussels, and whelks. Once they had gathered a large supply of food, they would travel back inland to their winter home. The Lenni Lenape were part of the Algonquin Nation, and are considered to be among the most ancient of all the Northeastern nations. They were known as diplomats who kept the peace and mediated disputes between neighboring native nations. They were referred by other tribes as the grandfathers or ancient ones. The Dutch traders had no respect for the native populations and treated them with contempt, even looking at them as possible slaves. Their attitude, however, did not prevent them from engaging in trading rum and guns for pelts and furs. The worst event in relations was the slaughter at Pavonia on February 25, 1643. The Director General of the Netherlands ordered an assault on a large group of Indians encamped at Pavonia to drive away and destroy the savages. Eleven tribes of the Iroquois nation banded together in retaliation. Retaliation took place from the Raritan River to the Connecticut River. A truce was finally secured in 1645, although the Lenni Lenape were still forced to relocate to a reservation in 1758. The Nanticoke Lenni Lenape Tribal Nation website recommends the following land acknowledgement, which I would like to read now. The Lenape people lived in harmony with one another upon this territory for thousands of years. During the colonial era and early federal period, many were removed west and north, but some also remained among the continuing historical tribal communities of the region, the Nanticoke Lenni Lenape Tribal Nation, the Ramapo Lenape Nation, and the Powhatan Renape Nation. The Nanticoke of Millsboro, Delaware, and the Lenape of Cheswold, Delaware. We acknowledge the Lenni Lenape as the original people of this land and their continuing relationship with their territory. In our acknowledgement of the continued presence of Lenape people in their homeland, we affirm the aspiration of the great Lenape chief, Tamanend, that there be harmony between the indigenous people of this land and the de descendants of immigrants to this land, as long as the rivers and creeks flow and the sun, moon, and stars shine. Continuing with the history, in 1614, what is now Barnegat was named Berendegat, or Inlet of the Breakers by the Dutch explorers, as a reference to the turbidity of the channel. Whaling was common in the early days of Barnegat, but by the Civil War, the sailors of Barnegat focused on transporting charcoal along the East Coast. The bay has been used for commercial fishing for hundreds of years, and it has been referenced in literature throughout its history. I personally think that the most important one is in the song My Eyes Adored You by The Four Seasons. But it was also the setting for E.B. White's short story, The Family That Dwelt Apart. Also in the TV show The Sopranos, Tony Soprano has a boat in Barnegat Bay. Since the 2000s, there have been concerns regarding the loss of seagrass and oyster reef habitats, algal blooms, and high nitrogen levels from fertilizer runoff. Nowadays, research is conducted in Barnegat Bay through universities such as Stockton and Rutgers, as well as organizations such as the Barnegat Bay Partnership. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and share with a friend. Bye!